Greetings and welcome, fellow doctors, to another episode of Let's Play Two Point Hospital. Right, so it is. What time is it? The 13th of December. And, well, uh, Two Point Studios has released an, a DLC for this game. Which I don't have quite yet, so I don't know, I don't have any opinions on it just yet, just in case anyone is wondering, but from what I've read about it, it's basically been well received, a couple of new hospitals and some new diseases to play with, so yay! But let us focus on the base game first. We will get to the, to the uh, new uh, places uh, in due time. I mean, after all, they're set in very cold climb, so I'm guessing we get some hospitals up here somewhere. Although, admittedly, I can't scroll the map quite in that direction just yet. Anyways, we have some hospitals here to look at. But I've been busy, you see, in the meantime. Getting some three stars in these beginner hospitals. Mostly just for completion's sake. I just... If I get the option to do three stars, I will try for them. But again, I, I won't bother showing how I got the three stars because it's kind of fairly obvious how I did that. This has unlocked several things like uh, some new posters, I believe, some upgrades for, mach for the basic machines that you get, as well as uh, a new snack machine, I believe. It's not really all that important what I got since it's mostly cosmetic, aside from, of course, the machine upgrades, but I would have gotten those anyway, I think. And I've also got these career goals that I have chosen to not unlock until I got to recording again. So let's get all the kudos. Repair 100 machines, what is 100 plants, unblock 100 toilets, we stocked 100 machines, trained 20 staff. And that's it. Good. Alright, so I'll just briefly go in and show you the, uh, the final configuration of the hospitals. Just in case you want to emulate how it looks. So, our basic uh, hogsport, this is called, right? Yeah, no objectives here. Uh, essentially did not much, just built a training room and a, uh, and a second uh, Deluxe Lux machine. Which I believe I can now upgrade to the third level, although I couldn't when I was playing this level. I also built the uh, cardiology machine the, with the enzyme, which I can also upgrade, but I couldn't at the time because I could have, I would have. But yeah, this, this hospital is fairly basic. You don't need all that much to finish this, and you just need to focus on what you need. I usually tend to build at least two of the same uh, clinics like these, because uh, one is just, just not enough to do most emergencies in time for when they expire. Other than that, we just have uh, a lot of staff that have all been regimented to do stuff uh, as they as you do. And they're all fairly happy. But yeah, this one is solved and solvent. So we'll just uh, quit the map and move on to lower bullocks. Alright, so in order to finish the scenario, I had to get another section of the hospital unlocked. Didn't really feel the need to use it. Although, as you can see, uh, my um, GP's offices are a little bit overcrowded. Um, I've been trying to solve that problem, but I didn't need to in the end. Because it was fairly easily solved, because... Uh, well, I, I actually just finished uh, the requirements for the level. But I do, I should have just about enough. It's just that I have been keeping my most of my staff busy either training or uh, wandering in between offices. But yeah, basically just fill up this area with all the curing machines, like two extractor pans, two deluxe deluxe machines. Also move the, uh, the uh, drug mixer over here, the pharmacy. 
And this area is basically just for uh, diagnosis, except of course for the uh, psychiatry, which I chose not to separate into a diagnosis and a curing department because I didn't feel like getting another one and another uh, psychiatrist. All right, back to map. And then finally, fluttering. Fluttering took a little bit longer to finish. Because it's... Well, it had some fairly high requirements, which is also why I have almost a million in gold. Uh, money, not gold. I mean, I make a lot of, lot of, lot of money per tick, but oh well. Also got a lot of the rewards, awards, but unfortunately, I couldn't stop people from dying because they just kept on dying for no particular reason. That was my fault. But yeah, the central area here is basically the diagnosis wing with the uh, ward set up to diagnose only and a secondary ward over here for the treatment. Uh, it's not strictly speaking necessary, I just felt it made the queues a little bit shorter and made sure that less people were hanging about in the central corridor. Um, let's see, uh, this is basically... Yeah, more diagnosis area. I did have to build several uh, of the psychiatries. I could have considered uh, actually turning this part of some of these into just treatment, diagnosis and curing, but it just didn't happen. And the humor, humor of virus and all that was all set, set in here. But nothing special. All, all, all things considered, although I did get so much reputation that I started getting too many people for the pharmacy than only one pharmacy could handle at the time. And anyways, that's that's enough of that. Enough time prattling spent. Uh, now, I will probably be doing this uh, thing similarly to this group in that I will uh, three-star three hospitals in the same group and then move on to the next one. So first we need to finish doing this and then we were busy with Tumble. Now. In Tumble we were having minor financial problems I believe. Yeah, we're currently having a bit of a loss problem. But that should be easily solved once we get going. So let's get going. Now, we got a star very quickly once we cure people. But of course we need people for that. Right now, I need a janitor that is not afraid of ghosts. Alright, we're making at least some money. Alright, this is still set to both diagnosis and treatment because I just don't have the room yet for anything else. I'm probably gonna build another diagnosis uh, GP's office over in this uh, little space. Yeah, the main area is a little bit squeezed together because I have to put everything together before I am really able to afford the uh, exterior plots. Because I kind of need a little bit of spare cash before I uh, consider moving everything over. Alright, more diagnosis done. Let's see. What people do I currently have in my hospital? I have basically just a couple of diagnosis doctors. Yeah, I hadn't been able to find a doctor that was really good at the uh, diagnosis for the, uh, the GP's office just yet. And they keep giving me doctors that I can't really use for that capacity. If it's cold over here. Well, it's a little bit cold, I guess. Alright, how many nurses do I have? Four, so I should, ha I should have enough. just train you. We got the money. Alright. 
think this one is probably the most straightforward. Let's get that particular place. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I might have this stuff for a level 5 room. Alright, so this is the new snack machine I got, the Salty Snacks machine. I suppose I could put one down. Um, I've never really considered actually putting most of, a lot of those down. I understand the function of the Salty Snacks machine. It's basically just to get people to buy more uh, drinks. But I always felt that it was a little bit... Uh, meh. Oh, I also didn't have a psychiatrist yet. Alright. Come on, give me someone good. Alright, I am a little bit strapped for cash, so I'll just... Alright, if anyone wants more money, they are out of here. Alright, at least we have someone that can upgrade, but I still need a psychiatrist. I don't mind telling you it's a bit nippy in the booth today. The heater is malfunctioning and the window is stuck in an open position. All right, well, the but to engage in vigorous exercise. That's now, just uh Right. Let's move this one over to here. Alright, we're gonna get an earthquake. I need a general practice. Most of our machines are not that badly hurt just yet. Uh, sure, you can be promoted. Nurse to the ward, please. All right. Well, as long as we're training you, you will only do diagnosis clinics. Any chance I get someone? You know, it couldn't hurt just to give me someone with psychiatric skills as a base, you know. Or for peanuts, that's actually uh, good. All right, let's move some furniture over because we are cheap and we want to save on costs. Just fine. Yeah, you're no good. There's a death. Warning. Right. This is a general warning. 
We've received some reports of an earthquake which has caused particular damage to one of the county's hospitals. This is why one must never be without insurance. And I heartily recommend Swindle's Insurance, who in no way paid me to endorse them. All right, well, at least that is done. Nurse to general diagnosis. <sighs> All right, let's take a loan. Because we need to clear up this queue. Let's also move this room over to here. It'll look awkward, but that's fine. All right. Definitely want to set up all the curing equipment over here. Since we already saw someone with pans labs, not a bad idea to start putting that one in here. way around and an extinguisher Finally. Right. So you will only work in there. Right. Fracture emergency. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Get the patient to wait. All right, we need the deluxe lux. I have discovered the heater had been jammed with sodium snacks. No wonder it ceased to function. I suspect this is the work of that unhygienic anarchist, Harrison Wolf. Words will be had, I assure you. Could patients please use the toilets provided? more nurses I think yeah right I've got two nurses stations in the end 
I initially only did that because I wanted to make sure that it clears out the, the, the movement, but like this it's probably fine. I think we're already well on the way to cure people. But that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.